Well, you get some funny looks in this job, I can tell you. I'm what they call a telegraph pole alignment officer. A pole liner, what we call us. Bit of a dying trade now. There used to be lots of us. Now there's only, a, I think, three left in the country. I'm the one I covers this area. My dad did this job before me. I took over his round 40 years ago. Rest his soul. There's, uh, well, these are with these kind of poles all over the place. These were the cross arms. There aren't many of these left now, they're taking them out. There's only about four left on this run. These new poles, they've only got nothing on them. They've got no cross arms, they're just straight flat poles. It's just, the wires changed now, it's all twisted pairs and stuff, it's not the same. You see, when these poles was put in, all those years ago, there was a line to a special place in London, somewhere on the Strand, I think it is. The cross arms, that is. That have this special alignment, something to do with the flow of the electricity. But anyway, over time, the worms activity in the soil shifts the poles ever so slightly and it's enough to off, put them off balance so it's my job to go around and calibrate them well I don't calibrate them what I do is I measure the calibration of them and I report it back in a little notebook I use this here telegraph pole calibration device now that's a bit of a mouthful so what we call, tend to call it I call mine Tracy which is an affectionate name, but I spend a lot of time with Tracy. My, my, my missus, bless her soul, says, you spend more time with that Tracy than you ever spend with me. Well, we laugh, <laughs> but uh, it's true, I suppose. I met with, the, I met with Tracy eight hours every day on my bike. I covered a big patch like I, 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 As I say, there aren't many of us now. There are not many of these kind of poles. My patch goes all the way down to Craven Arms and up as far as north up, up by the, up by the coast up there. Well, it's a hell of a long way to ride them. I, I, I spend all day out on my bike. Some days I can spend the whole day getting out to the patch to do my manager. I measure just eight poles and I cycle all the way home again. It's a tough old job, but uh, well, it's got to be done, hasn't it? They, they are replacing these poles now with these new, just they don't have anything on the top. They're pretty dull looking poles, to be honest. I think it's something to do with they, they don't use the bare copper wires anymore. They use these twisted pairs and sheaths and stuff. And, well, this here, this here was me dad's. I took over his round. Have I told you all that? I can't remember what I've told you now. I'm, I'm not, not what it was. But anyway, this was me dad's. Tra well, he didn't call it Tracy. I had another name for it. But this, me dad's. There was a factory in Sutton Coalfield. Turned these out hundred a week at one time. You wouldn't believe it, would you? Made out of some sort of wood, turmeric or something. It's got his initials on it. Well, it's got. He said it's his initials, but his name begins with an R. I don't know why it's, it's... But anyway, I've had this. It's been in my family for a long time. My dad had it. He did his whole career. And I did, but I kind of see my kids taking the job on. I haven't got any kids. It's uh, a dying a dying job. Are you got enough now? Do I want you to talk some more? Well, I don't know what to say. This is, a, this is what I do. I comes out to measure the poles. I have my butties and I bikes onto the next one and I put it in my notebook and it writes off. What's it made of? I told you. It's some, some sort of wood. Turmeric or something. And when it's chopped, finished, when I'm dead, they'll probably chop the bugger up and put it on sticks or make a curry with it or something. Anyway, I gotta go, and you gotta go and make your bloody dinner. I'm, I'm on to the next pole now. You have to write uh, maybe results in my notebook. You have to write the date, you have to write the pole number, and the obliquity, that's the fancy word for the measurements we do. I don't know what obliquity is. Um, and feelings, well, they never told us what that meant, but I just write down what I'm feeling at the time. I didn't have nothing, I didn't feel nothing for the last couple of poles, but the one before that I felt milk, very definitely milk come out of it. You know, it's 
What are you supposed to do? Cricket come for this pole in Oswald Street? Bread. I had a bit of bread felt. That's another one in Oswald Street. Plan of money. Green gauge. Yule tide. You know, it's it's what you're feeling at the time. But they said it's important to fill it in, so I filled it in. Any road. On the next one. What are you filming me having me buddies for? What's the point of that? Mm, funny buddy, that. You'll be wondering what's me good at toilet next. Is it that kind of documentary, is it? Something going on over there. Right. I'll begin a bit more, I'll save it for... I'll do a couple more poles, and I'll have the other one. I expect you've got a catering truck, haven't you? On location, outside broadcast team. Mm. Yeah, see, a bloody license payers money. I don't pay no license pay, but I ain't got a, I don't pay a license. But my doctor said I don't have to. I'm very glad I didn't pay for this rubbish they're making. Anyway, you can turn that bloody thing off now. Go on. I I I want a bit of privacy, but we're having me having having me dinner. Have you turned it off? Well, I start swearing in a minute. That'll make you. That'll make you a license. Points of view. They'll have them writing their letters in. I'm wasting my time. I got a lot to do. I got four more poles on this run and I gotta get off to Ballaletta Centre. There's one there, there's one there, right? This is how daft it is. There's one there, Ballaletta Centre, they run bus trips to it. So see, a bloody telegraph pole. Well they got a surprise, I can tell you. Because it got tucked down last week and they got just got one of these. It did have six arms, it did, lovely one it was, it, to be fair. Six arms, four different types of insulators. Some of them still had the, t the ties on them. But bloody BT come and took it down last week. But what a, just, it's, a straight, it's a stout they put in. Nine metre stout. They're going to be disappointed. <laughs> uh, bloody hell. Bus trips. See a bloody telegraph pole. You couldn't make it up. Anyway, I better get on. That was number 2A, and I got a 1.15 obliguity, and, you, and funny enough, fish farm come into my head. There's my feelings about that pool, fish farm. There we are. privacy. Get out of it. It's fucking raining. I didn't press stop now, I think, can I? I started swearing.